Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today I got something pretty cool to show you. Back here we got a 1998 Honda Civic. Now, there's a lot of imports in this town, guys. I had no idea. Uh, this car's going on the dyno today to kind of work out a little drivability problem. Uh, some highway driving or something's not quite right. So we're gonna let Harvey do some tuning on it uh, to see if he can work that out. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we're gonna do some full power pulls on it. I hear this car makes upwards of 600 horsepower. Uh, we're gonna try to you know, get some good numbers out of it tonight. But if you can see it back there, uh, this is nothing but a two-liter Honda engine, uh, fully sleeved, fully built, uh, forged internals. It's got a 6266 uh, turbo on it, and it makes a lot of power. So let's take it inside and put it on the rollers and see what it could do. All right, so we're here with Lou. He's the owner of the 98 uh, Honda Civic. What's happening, Lou? How you doing, now? All right, so we got your car on a dyno. Uh, you've had it on a dyno before, right? Yes, sir. And uh, how much have you made in the past? Um, in the past, I made 684 horse. 684 horse? Yes. With this little Honda? Yes, sir. And uh, remind me, what, what motor was in this? Is it a two liter? Well, this is a two liter um, a Civic motor. I mean, it's a Honda motor. Right. It's a Type R bottom end. Okay. It's a Frankenstein, so it has a GSR head, okay. uh, Type R cams, and GSR transmission. Okay. And uh, so you got uh, a 6266 on this? Yes. All right, that's precision turbo, right? Yes, sir. All right, and uh, how much boost do you put in it? Um, it's boost by gear, so uh -huh. I believe it goes, first gear is about 10 pounds, second gear it goes a little bit higher and higher, I think fourth gear it goes to 30 pounds, 30 I pounds of boost? Yes. Okay, so we'll find out tonight if it's doing that. Yes. And, and why are you here tonight? Was it a power issue or drivability? Well, um, the drivability. Okay. Um, I've been doing some highway pulls with some big horsepower cars, and the car's been acting up ever since I've done that. All right. So, so you bring it into 5 bar. You get Harvey in there and uh, yep. try to get it all straightened out. Yes, sir. All right, so Harvey's going to try to work out the drivability issues, and we're going to try to make some more power. What's happening, Harvey? Yep. And uh, we'll see if we can make some power, because we're, we're talking a, a car here that made 685 horsepower to the rear wheels, and uh, that's a Mustang dyno figure, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. All right, so dyno jet, you're like close to 800 horsepower. Uh, 766. 766? Yes, about. Big numbers from a little 2-liter Honda. Yeah. All right, so we're going to let Harvey do his job, and uh, we're going to fire this thing up and watch it roll. Check this out, guys. All right. Hey, yeah. We're going to do a pull now on waste case spring. Okay. Uh, then later on, we'll start turning it up. Uh, I should be able to skip some since I already did this car already once, and I'll be able to get the car up into the numbers that we want sooner okay. than what we think. All right, let's see what you can do on wastegate. Thank you. All right, cool. Hey, Harvey, were we on wastegate again? No, we were actually trying to go up. Um, I had it set for 20 PSI, but... Something went wrong? Yeah. Okay. Go break up. Uh, we can let Harvey figure it out. Man, that was loud. Where we're at. 
can see from the graph, we made 500 horsepower. And now uh, we made a run at 445 in between. But uh, let's see what we got, 528. It's actually pretty good, but... Uh, so, Lou, you've made more power than that, though, right? I mean, yeah. there's still more in this. Yeah, there's still more in it. Okay, hey, Harvey, how many pounds of boost was that? That was 20 PSI. And how far are we going tonight? Um, I think that the highest we went to was 30 PSI. Tell you right now. And then we're gonna do 30 pounds. 28 psi was our highest last time. Okay. So we got. We'll do at least 28 tonight, right? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. We'll do it now. Next, next pass. Next pull. Sounds good. All right, I, I actually missed the dyno pole, but look at that, guys. 648. We're closing in on the numbers that we previously made. Uh, dyno jet. I don't know, we had 12%. Uh, but this little Honda's making power. Hey Harvey, how much boost was that? Um, that was about 30. About 30 pounds? 32? 32 pounds. Okay, looking good, man. Thank you. 32 pounds of boost, not bad. Guys, I couldn't tell you how loud that was. We lost power. We went down in boost. Oh, we went down in boost? Okay. I, I turned it down. It turned down to 27 pounds. Okay. Well, well, we, see, I wanted to see what less boost what I would do. Yeah, well, we lost uh, just about 50 horsepower. I think it was more than that, wasn't it? 680? Uh -huh. Oh, so you're Oh, so I'm almost 50. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to pull the plugs and regap them. How do they look? They look about right. I don't see anything wrong with them. We're going to tighten up on the gap and uh, we're going to pick up on the boost and see what we can do now. So, Harvey, what are you going to gap them to? Um, I use a feeder gauge and um, we go down to about point 16, 17. Yeah, and where, where were you before? About 22? Uh, it should be about 18. 18, okay. 18. Try and go a little tighter, that's all. Okay, all right. Let's see how it works out. See if we hit that number. Six ninety-eight. Very close. What do you think, Lou? Hey, now we're talking. I mean, more horsepower this time than the last time. I wonder how much boost he put in. Probably more than thirty-two yeah, yeah, yeah. thousand. I made 12 pounds more than the last, than my previous time. I mean, 12 uh, horsepower. Right. Well, that's pretty good, bro. Let me find out from Harvey. Hey, Harvey, how much boost was that? That was 30 psi. 30 psi. Yes. So gapping the plugs was what you needed to do. Yes. Nice work. 698 horsepower to the front wheels on a little two liter Honda. To me, I find that amazing. Uh, but uh, that's, you know, that's what we have here. You know, we put a lot of boost in these cars. Uh, Harvey is a wizard when it comes to tuning. And, uh, you know, he pulled the rabbit out of a hat. We, we recapped the plugs, we turned up the boost, and we made a lot of power. Uh, that 698 horsepower, I think, equates to uh, 780 horsepower or something like that if this car was on a dyno jet. So, pretty good numbers, guys. Pretty good work on that dyno pull, Harvey. Was thank that you, 30, 30 pounds? Yep. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to work on the drivability problem? Yeah, he's, he's got a uh, couple hiccups as he's trying to hold it steady. So we're working on that right now just to kind of get him out of here already. Okay. And regapping the plugs, you probably got to check the idle settings and stuff like that too? Yes, exactly. All right, cool. Well, Al, I really want to thank you for putting me on your channel. 
Um, I hope that you know it keeps on rising yeah. and you keep on getting more subscribers. Um, I'm very happy with uh, the tune today. Uh, we surpassed my uh, previous right. dyno tune. Previously, I made 684. Today, I made 698, which is <laughs> another 12 horsepower. So that was a good game. Um, I want to thank Javi Tune um, and as well as uh, Five Bar. Uh, right. These are these are great people to come to. Uh, they know what they're talking about. Right. They know how to work on cars. They, uh, you know, they're amazing people, and you know they do good work. So I definitely recommend them. All right. And I really appreciate it, Al. All right, man. We made it to 4:30 oh, in God. the morning. Guys, we've been so here you guys all can night. See. I know it's on the flip side, Did but 4:25 in the morning <laughs> on a Tuesday. That's right. So, and we both got to get up to go to work in the morning. So, work. you know, it was a, it was a, it was a great tuning session. Really, uh, it's always a pleasure to work with Joe and Harvey. Uh, I can't say it enough. Harvey is like a, a master when it comes to doing doing the tuning on these Hondas. So, uh, for sure. So uh, uh, here again, it's nice to get you on the channel. Thank you. Uh, I waited around I just for him because uh, he posted on the channel that he was going to come down here. And uh, I just couldn't leave, you know. So we finally got the Carnegie Dino. We did our thing, and we're good to go. So uh, appreciate appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Comment, like, and subscribe. Yes. Coyote Car Guy. Here he All is. right, guys. Have a good night.